Uh, I want to start by saying that you are fascinating. Thank you. I mean, this new song, Queen. Yes. Debut January 21st. You dropped the video. Mm -hmm. 24 hours, 1.2 million views. Yeah, it's crazy. And then today, three days later, double that, 2.4 million views. Yeah. How does it feel having this kind of response from the fans and, and, and the people that love you? Well, this video was so important to me because I've had the idea for so long and it's... I was so excited for it. I was literally counting down the days to even shoot the video. And then it was finally there and I got it back and I was so excited. I wanted to release it as soon as I got it, like before retouching, before all that. I was like, put it out now. But um, it, yeah, it's out. And I, I, got, I actually got the date pushed back because it was supposed to be released later in January. I was like, I want it now. So um, it's crazy. I'm, I mean, I had a feeling they would like it because I kind of I, I kind of know what my fans like. We're, we're really close and I know what they expect from me. Even if someone wasn't a fan of Lauren Gray and they're just discovering you, that video would make someone an instant stan. Instantly, instantly. <laughs> uh, can we talk about the lyrics in the song? Because yes. it, it's a bop. Yes. First and foremost, it's definitely a bop. But uh, boy, you better bow down on your knees. <laughs> can I get a yes, your majesty, Lauren? Yes. The song clearly is about girl power. Yes. How important is that to get that message out to, to Gen Z, to millennials? So important. I have so many young um, female fans and like girls that are even younger than me and I think that it's so important to really, I don't know, just embrace being a strong independent woman even if you are young, like really drilling it in. I mean, I think it's great and I love, I love being a woman. You mentioned being so young, you're 16 years yes. old. Where does that power that confidence come from? Who instilled that in you? Oh, my mom. Tell us. My mom is the, the most independent person I know. She needs no one. She does everything on her own. And, you know, she moved out here with me, so we spend a lot of time together. And I like to think that I'm like the, the more laid back version of her. She, she can be a little feisty. But, um, yeah, she's, I mean, she raised my sister, my sister, well, my sister is from a previous marriage, but she raised my sister on her own. Mm -hmm. She didn't need anyone. And I love that. I'm like, I don't need anyone either. Boom. Mm -hmm. I mean, hey, like, like mother, like daughter. You know what I mean? Yeah. You're a Philly girl. I right? am. A Philly girl through and through. I am. Yes. L.A. T tell us a little bit about, about growing up in Philly, coming to L.A., that whole journey with, with your music. So I moved to L.A. with my mom probably like two years ago. So my dad's still in Pennsylvania. He's working holding down the fort, as we like to say. And I moved out here. It's really different. Um, there's everyone's, I feel like people are different. Um, and you kind of have to, I don't know. I mean, I already had a small group of friends at, um, back at home, but I knew that they were my friends, you know, coming out here. It's like, Real you don't people. know who your friends are. It's a great point. And I was also, you know, trying to get into music and that was, a confusing time because I was like I was nervous and you know signing to signing to Virgin was a huge deal for me because it kind of told me you know I can do this and gave me a little little boost of confidence and by little I mean like a huge boost of confidence because <laughs> I was like okay I have people behind me who believe in me and I think that sure. was a big part of it because especially like my fans you know they're behind me in everything that I do and I have a great team at Virgin, my family, my friends, my three friends, because I have the small circle in the world, but they mean the world to me, so it's, it's okay. And um, yeah, it's, I've definitely had a great support system out here, and I'm really thankful. Let's talk about inspirations, though, because yeah. you, you, you're a singer. I am. You know, you, I'm sure you have <laughs> your favorites, you have people who have inspired you vocally, have inspired your performances. Who, if you could collab with anyone, who would it be like? Who are you standing right now? Who is like it for I, Lauren Gray? In terms of performance, I don't know, man. I watched the Taylor Swift Reputation Tour Changed on Netflix. Your life. Changed <laughs> my life as soon as it came on, and she was she came up on the stage, and I forget what the opening song was. I think it was, oh, it was Are You, you ready, ready For, for it? it? I died. Are you ready for it? I love her. Yeah. I love her. She's so th theatrical. I saw her at the AMA. She performed, and I was, I was like, oh my god, she's so good. Yeah. Like you can see it on her face. You know what I mean? And she just, 
rocks it and she owns it and I love it. Your music is very personal. You know, yes. you just said that, you know, you, melody, melodies aren't your thing, but lyrics are. You know, Mariah Carey always talks about the, the passion that goes in to yeah. being a songwriter. Your song, Kicking You Out, yeah. very personal. Yes. Did you hear back from your ex after that came out? Did he, <laughs> did he sign to the DMs and be like, girl, just about me? No, I think he knows. <laughs> <laughs> Like I said, you have millions of followers. I'm sure people, and as you said, people are hateful to you. They, they, they say negative things. How do you deal with that? What, what armor, what, how have you amassed the armor and the, and the thick skin to, to deal with that? I think it's just realizing that the good outweighs the bad. Because I have so, 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 so many amazing fans. When I say that I would not have been able to continue if I didn't have those few fans in the beginning that really believed in me, I wouldn't have kept going because it's it's really hard to hear so when you get so many great comments and there's that one negative comment that's the one that sticks always and I think it's really hard to push that aside and listen to the net or the positive comments mm -hmm. but um, I've learned to focus on those more and I also don't read comments as much anymore yeah. especially like on music videos and things like that I don't even bother that's smart I wish more people would would, yeah. would do that but also Lauren what you're doing is your 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 art is a labor of love you it's very yeah. personal as you said earlier and I think that um, that you're wise beyond your years thank you